It's time now for a look at least in local news. In the news, a reminder, a community blood drive taking place today at the parking lot at Wayne Memorial Hospital. The time today from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Walk-ins are welcome. All donors will receive a $70 gift card from the Blood Connection. Once again, that blood mobile will be located on the right side of the main parking lot at Wayne Memorial Hospital. All donations will be greatly appreciated as these blood drives are, during the summer are very important. In the blood drive today at the hospital parking lot from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also a reminder, the summer food service program in full swing. They distribute the food on Wednesdays during the summer, and today is Wednesday. Sites are Wayne County High School, James E. Bacon Elementary, in Scriven, Georgia, the Sam Dreyer Center, and in Odom, the Odom Rick Center. This is for children up to age 18. And for people with special needs, the time from 1030 to 1130. Reminder, it's a drive through event, no on-site eating. But again, a food drive taking place again today here in Wayne County. As we've been reporting for several weeks now, both the City of Jessup and the Wayne County Board of Education are working to pass their yearly budget as their calendar year runs from July 1st to the end of June. The school Board has a public hearing on their proposed $60 million budget at 5 p.m. on June 27th and a special call meeting to be held one hour before their regular meeting that Tuesday, June 27th at 6 p.m. The City of Jessup didn't even have their budget on their last night agenda as they currently don't have a consensus and necessary votes to pass a budget, so they've changed course they're moving forward with the name of the new city commissioner in District 5 tonight. The special call meeting is 7 p.m. at City Hall. They have three names to choose from, former Mayor David Earl Keith, former City Manager Mike Deal, and Citizen David Baldwin. That meeting again called for tonight at 7 p.m. They called for the meeting at last night's commissioner's meeting. Commissioner Stanley Todd, Pamela Schumann, and Shirley Armstrong calling for the call meeting tonight. Once the new commissioner is selected and sworn in, they'll go on and proceed and pre- vote on their proposed budget, which again wasn't even on the agenda last night. On the agenda last night were those two alcohol licenses tabled from their previous meeting. Both were approved last night by unanimous votes. Once again, the city commissioner is having a call meeting tonight at 7 p.m. at City Hall. Today in the new District 5 commissioner, again the three names, David Baldwin, Mike Deal, David Earl Keith, WIFO fan will be at the meeting, have a full report here tomorrow on the local news. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Twelve people have been arrested in connection with an alleged chicken fighting ring which occurred in Jeff Davis County. The arrest include the son of a county commissioner. According to law enforcement, several agencies executed three search warrants in three days in Jeff Davis and one in Appling County. Jeff Davis Sheriff's Department and U.S. Department of Agriculture were conducting an investigation into chicken fighting happening in Hazelhurst back in February. In the following months, agents were able to identify property owners, facilitators, handlers, spectators, and several individuals involved in participating in the blood sport. Police say agents searched two residences in a barn area where the fights took place. Search warrant at a residence in Jeff Davis was executed this past Monday. Agents searched 10 acres of property and discovered a farm with 100 rooster pens, chicken fighting tools, several firearms, and a large sum of cash. A total of 28 firearms were removed and the sum of $90,000 in cash was seized. Twelve people face charges. Several are Jeff Davis County employees. 60-year-old Ramona Stone is the secretary for the Towns Bluff Heritage Center. 60-year-old Eddie Bush is the superintendent of the Jeff Davis Road Department. Charges range from commercial gambling to animal cruelty. The ages range from 21 to 64. 30-year-old Cassius Crosby is the son of County Commissioner Ricky Crosby. Law enforcement safety the investigation is ongoing and more arrests are expected. Long County Health Department holding back-to-school vaccination and screening events. One taking place this week, June 22nd. Clinics are scheduled from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. and 1 to 5.30 p.m. Again, the dates and appointment only, June 22nd, July 13th, August 24th. And the Long County Health Department is offering three back-to-school vacation and screening events this summer for children and teens. Appointments can be scheduled by calling the Long County Health Department at 912-545-2107. They state all students entering pre-K, kindergarten, Renting a Georgia school for the first time must have proof of vaccinations, must complete a vision, hearing, dental, and nutrition screening. Students entering seventh grade need a Tdap booster and a meningitis vaccination. Students entering eleventh grade need a meningitis booster for school attendance. And parents are urged to take advantage of these summer clinics and avoid the fall rush for immunizations and screenings. Once again, the Long County Health Department can be contacted at 912-545-2107. The dates, once again, June 22nd, July 13th, and August 24th. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned.
Final notes in the news, Shelby Anderson with the Boys and Girls Club reporting now that Saturday's Mr. Wayne County fundraising event raised over $20,000. It'll go towards the gymnasium floor at the Boys and Girls Club. Chase Bryant crowned Mr. Wayne County Saturday night at the KK Theater with the big winner of the Boys and Girls Club. Again, a fundraising event and funds now over $20,000 raised from the event. City of Scriven inviting everyone to come celebrate Independence Day. They've got a full lineup of entertainment the weekend of June 30th and July 1st. We'll all begin Friday night, June 30th at the Scriven Fire Department with the local band Second Chance taking the stage at 8 p.m. So bring your lawn chairs and dancing shoes, dance the night away. Then on Saturday, July 1st, the city has a full festival day planned beginning at 2 p.m. They've got food vendors and kids zone, full day of activities. The fireworks show gets underway that evening at dark 30 and one of the best fireworks show around. So again, Friday, June 30th, Second Chance Band performing. And again, Saturday, July 1st, leading up to the best fireworks show in Scriven. Any more information before the big event, call Scriven City Hall at 586-2211. And the Chamber of Commerce still selling tickets to their legacy dinner. That's set for Thursday, June 29th at 7 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Tickets are $75 for members, $100 for non-members. Again, if you need more information or a ticket, call the Chamber this week at 912-427-2028. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.